Hello, I'm Murakamo Witch, and today we're going to do a little thing of um, how to enhance your hair a little bit. And here's just a basic, simple basic hairstyle. Um, also the skin and eye textures and all that stuff, that is uh, stuff that I, I put up on Booth. It's for free so you guys can get it. Except for the eye textures, they're there but you they cost money but everything else is there for free anyways <clears throat> so um let's say you've made hair you know and just you kind of got like this basic hair and it looks fine you know it's it's not bad but you want to enhance it you kind of want to make it look better or give it some more oomph um so we're gonna kind of work with that today um and it's not only texture because we're gonna work with texture as well but we're gonna do like some more hair design so the first thing we're going to do is so we have this um like parted bang and um i've turned off the base hair which you don't have to but i did because i just don't want it poking through uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to add like a couple little hairs to it um to start off we're going to just kind of give it a little some like danglies so i'm going to go kind of thin like that and I'm going to turn mirror off because we're going to make it slightly uh, asymmetrical. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just start up here and I'm just going to kind of like pull one like that. Um, and I might select it in order to make it even thinner. And I want even smaller ones as well. So I'm going to like take this down as small as it'll go. And draw like a nice fine one right there and if possible I might even try to shrink that down a little bit more through this and now what this is doing is just adding like mm, more shapes and variety and we're gonna do that with the back of the hair too in a second um, and let me do one for the other side and this one's not gonna go all the way I want this one to kind of like stop right by the eye like that yeah so it'll be fine and you can keep adding more and you can make them as thin as you want and, you know what have you oh, I want that one on this one kind of like that I'm just going to thicken this up a little bit With, 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 right. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Now for your back of your hair, it probably looks kind of like this where they're all about the same size. And I used a procedural hair group for this. So over here, you'll notice there's three thicknesses. And this is just gonna be kind of like offset thicknesses. You see how they're changing slightly? Like where it's located. You kind of want to do something like that so they're not all even. When I'm all slightly different. And I'm going to like tuck this hair in just a little bit. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hair group and I'm just going to clone it. So I'm going to make a second one. And then I'm going to come over here to the guide parameters and lower the offset so it comes in a little bit. And I'm just going to bring it up just a little bit and readjust some of these tip thicknesses. I might even pull it back in in the head a little bit. So that way we're going to give it like two layers of depth. Um, also for this one I'm going to do a couple of strands as well like we did before. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go click on the group I want. So we're doing the procedural group and then freehand group. So now we're going to get it and it's going to have the same mesh. We'll just whip this a little bit. And then we're just going to add some strands here. And we're just going to kind of follow it down along. Something like that. And you can change the thickness and the width of these. OK. 
something like that. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, select the hair, the freehand group that we just did. We're going to do another one. And this time we're going to take some of this mesh. We're going to pull it out a little bit. In fact, we might do it on both sides. We'll just match it up. Match it up. Um, I'm going to keep kind of the top in the same area. And just pull it out just slightly like that. Whoosh, whoosh, right? And then we're going to go along the side. And I'm just going to do a couple of strokes. So we're going to get a little hairs that are coming out from the side. In fact, I might even... Those are kind of thin, so let me uh, thicken those just a little bit. I'm just going to kind of adjust a little bit, pull them in, pull them up. And since I don't want them perfectly symmetrical, I'm going to grab one of them. And I'm just going to move the placement using position X. I even might want to do a little Y in order to like pull it up on the head just a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm attempting to make it look like there are uh, more freehand strands. The hair is not perfect. It gives it a little bit more of this realistic feeling and vibe. I still want to see that one for the front, so right there. And then I might even um, do another freehand group and do the same thing again. Let's just take a little stroke there. And for this one, we're going to make sure on the freehand group, bring the offset out a little bit. Just kind of like pull it out and around. Oops, select it all. Um, so I'm gonna pull this in because I want to tuck it in, but I'm also gonna pull it out so it's gonna kind of like, yeah. So you see how the hair is kind of like pulling out and then tucking back in. Yeah, like that. And I'm gonna just pull it in on the top to make sure it does still like stick with the group. I'm gonna pull this hair down a little bit. So now I just have like a few strands going every which way. Actually, you know what? This one I'm not a big fan of, so I'm just gonna remove it. Yeah. Alright, so that's step one of like enhancing your hair a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is you see the materials over here. We're going to want mm, three of them. But let's start with the first one first. Uh, so let's go edit our textures. And like the textures that are default in here are okay, but we can always make them better. All right, and so I'm going to go to the default and I'm going to color this in. And I'm going to try to do this right here in Vroid, but I do recommend you taking it out of the program. It does make it much easier and you have more control. All right, so right now we have a solid color. I'm going to take a slightly darker color and lower the opacity and use the soft brush, nice and big. And just give a couple like strokes at the top and a couple of strokes at the bottom. And then I'm going to make sure I grab our main color and I'm going to go just a smidge higher and go right through the center to give kind of like a lightness. And then on the top layer, and if you don't have this, if you deleted it for some reason, you just hit the plus button and the new layer will appear at the top. I'm go back to the brush and I'm going to grab, it doesn't really matter which color, usually a blue. Lower this down. And I'm going to kind of just do a couple of strokes. So making your own textures will definitely enhance 
any of your um, V-Red models. Alright, now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna just do like a linear burn. So it's gonna make it nice and dark, but we're gonna lower the opacity so it's like, like that. And this is for kind of like a softer one. If I wanted to go more cell shaded, so I'm gonna do a plus layer. I'm gonna like just uh, turn that visibility off. And I'm gonna show you what it would look like if I did it more cell shaded. If I did more cell shaded, take the harder brush. And then I would do kind of. You know what? Let's turn the uh, mirroring mode off. Okay, so I do like really kind of sharp lines. And even if you don't see it on the model, it's still there. It's fine. Something kind of like that. I just sort of taper it down, long to short. Do the linear burn again and drop it down. In fact, maybe I'll just keep it with that one. It's fine. I might even take the eraser tool in order to sharpen up some of these lines. All right. <clears throat> now what we're gonna go is back over to the design. And now that we have this one, we're gonna duplicate it twice. All right. The third one, uh, we're just gonna kind of take and add a gray over it for now. We'll figure it out later, but Back over to the textures, because you can't duplicate from this menu. And over in this hair group, we're going to add a new layer. Add a new layer. There we go. Make sure you click it to the top one. And we're going to add a little bit of highlights. Mm. I might lower it down just a little bit. I don't want, I don't want it to be white, white. Ah, huh, overlay. I do like an overlay. Okay, we'll go with that. All right, and now we're gonna go back to the hair in the design. And for the procedural group, we have the the main one. We'll make sure it's on the first one. And we're going to just drop the width down. And we can adjust the offset a little bit. Eh, the highlight position. We can see where the highlight is. And I want that towards, like, the crown. And now at this point, I'm going to just grab each individual strand. And I'm just going to kind of offset it a little bit. So they're not all the same pattern. Uh, because even if you're not normally going to see back here, there is a possibility. And you know what? Just take the, the extra few minutes and it'll just look that much nicer. Alright, so right now we're just working on the main, this procedural group. So I'm just going to turn the rest off just so you can focus on what we're doing. So we're just working on this one right here. Not like that. Like that. Mm, kind of like that. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Um, and now we have the front of the hair here, which is actually underneath this hair. But we're going to select the second one we did with the highlights because I want highlights on here. I'm also going to make sure the width is down to zero. And just kind of adjust basically where the highlights are going to be. And then we just use the offset to kind of adjust. Mm, 
you know, what we want and where we want it. And same with this. Oops. That one flying. Okay, that looks fine. And what I try to do is line up where the shines are so they all kind of match up. And as far as these little ones, what you're going to want to do is make these widths much bigger. Because it likes to cram that entire texture into the small little thing. So we don't need, need it that big. You can offset and add the shine. I might even take this one right here, like one of these strands, and just hit it with the, that gray one. Yeah, that looks good. All right, now we have this other procedural group, which is in the center, and we're going to hit that with this gray one, so it's a little darker. We might even adjust that a little bit to give it more of that red. Like, so it's like this darker brown. Yeah. I'm going to pull the in interval in a little bit and then rotate this. So it's like that. So you're not really going to see it from here. But you'll definitely see the difference from the inside. And we can still grab some of these and do like the offset and still get like some more hair depth. Which let me um, lower the width. And we'll just do a few. We don't need to worry about all of them. Like that. So now we have like the darker inside, the lighter outside, and we're giving our hair a little depth. Alright, so now we have um, these hair strands here. And right now we don't have the shine on them, and you can if you want. You can make them the shiny ones and, you know, adjust accordingly in order to match with the shine. Um, for me, I'm going to keep it as the normal one, except one of these I'm going to make it the darker color one. Mm, yeah, I'll just do that one. And we're just going to slightly adjust this to kind of like have it so it's being tucked in and pulling out, you know. Yeah, like that. And then we have the other hairs that came out. These are going to be need, uh, need to be slightly wider as far as the texture. And I might adjust, you know, this one's probably could use it. The offset so we have a bit of that uh, shading on there. Like that. And then that one will also increase the width and add some of that shading on there. And pretty much that's how it would go you can continue to add stuff to it you can um, like make more of these layers if you really wanted to so like let's say we did um, clone this and we wanted to like have it so you know it came out to here as well so it's just showing like a whole bunch of like extra layer that is completely feasible and possible and you can change like the number of hairs you have so they uh, aren't the exact same you want to adjust uh, the textures accordingly But it gives you a, a general idea of like what you can 
do and what like small little things you can do in order to really like emphasize or um make the uh, a model stand out a little bit more a little less viroidy um yeah so like if this video has helped you at all you know let, let, let me know uh give it a like and all that other other jazz and um yeah, if you like the face texture, the eye line, or, you know, the eyes, the shine, th those are all over on my booth page. You can go check them out there. Most of them are for free. Some of them, you know, it's a couple bucks. You know, got, got, gotta make my money somehow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, so if you have any questions, let me know down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Alright, bye!